Yeah, it was good. It was, uh, it was good fun. It's always nice coming back home and um, you know playing with Southbridge. So yeah, it was a good first half. Um, Light a little bit in the second half, but really enjoyed it. Did you expect to play 80? Was that the intention you were going to play 80? Oh, I, I said 60 or 80. Um, our second five, he got a bit of a tight hammy, so I had to, had to do the, uh, the full 80, but um, yeah, it was good. What makes it such fun, Dan? Oh, just coming back and seeing familiar faces, uh, familiar surroundings, obviously a lot of childhood memories uh, playing here at, at the club, so um, yeah, I don't get out here that often, so when I do it's always pretty pretty special, and um, you know, the, the rugby's good fun as well, so that's why it's, it's enjoyable. So you're driving Dad to the, you drove Dad to the game, is he driving you home? Uh, he drove me here actually, yeah, and we'll probably walk home to be honest, because it's... Uh, you know, in true club fashion, you know, we're going to enjoy a couple of beers after a game like that. So right. we'll be walk, yeah, walking home uh, just around the corner. So only lives a couple hundred metres from here, so it's nice and easy. Did you get what you wanted? You got a couple of knocks at times, a couple of good passes? Yeah, yeah, I did actually. Um, you know, it's been about four months since I've played and, and only been training for, for four weeks, really. So it's one thing sort of running around and training and feeling good, another one's just actually playing. So, um, you yeah, know, to get through 80 is, is pleasing. It's, um, probably more than I expected, but um, yeah, it was good. A bit rusty, but uh, we're good. You had to read the playbook a bit, though. You didn't get a training in down here either? No, I didn't. Um, the beauty of sort of country club rugby, I could just uh, turn up uh, the morning of the game, but uh, they, they sent me all the play moves earlier in the week, so I've been studying them all week. How do those minutes prep you for Super Rugby if you, if you were to make a comeback soon? Yeah, well, I think, you know, any game time is, is very different to, uh, to training. So, you, you, you know, you can be fit. Um, at training, but uh, it's not until you sort of take a couple of knocks and get up off the ground and, and get that match fitness. So I got a little bit of that today, which which was pleasing. So yeah, it's a, it's a good start. Canterbury fans love you. Thousands here today. Will you be playing at Orange Theory in a couple of weeks against the Crusaders? Next weekend, actually. Yeah, um, yeah I, don't, I don't know, to be honest. If, if anyone saw that game today, they'd probably... I'd, I'd say myself I'm a bit rusty, to be honest. I'm not sure if I could play at a Super Rugby level just yet, but... You know, you leave selections and things like that up to the coaches, but it's good to, I guess, make uh, you know the first step back and, and to potentially playing again. You know, whether I play or not, I'm not really uh, you know, too worried. I'll leave that up to uh, Leon and, and the selectors up at the Blues. But um, yeah, pretty uh, sort of daunting game next weekend uh, against against the Crusaders. You know, a world class side. Do you remember the team song? Team song. <laughs> They probably changed it, haven't they? Was that the Crusaders one? No, it's right in here. Oh yeah, I know. They were about to do it before. No, I have no idea actually. I no idea. It's a couple of the young guys actually uh, think that they got me for initiations uh, tonight, but they forgot that I did 11 years ago. So um, I think I'll be safe there. Will fans have to wait another six years to see you back here? Oh, dear your dad not. said you're going to your 40s. Oh so. yeah, but oh, that'd be, geez, uh, yeah, 44. I don't know about that. No, no, no. I'm uh, enjoying living back in New Zealand now. So. Uh, who knows when we'll be back here again, you know, maybe later in the season. Uh, yeah, we'll see how things go, but you know, just to enjoy the moment, enjoy today, which is exactly what, what I did. And, and also, it's awesome to see a big turnout of you know, kids and, and people here. So we're celebrating in uh, club rugby, which is, which is also nice.